that. If I'd have known when I brought my groceries today, yeah. I would have yeah. gotten a new hat, too. That's all we're in uh, Crowsey's over there, you know. <laughs> they only give one with every purchase. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get yours? I got mine at Bronson's. Well, the other they're not deli. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. That was 25 cents. Yeah. Much? Much? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your subscription. Is you know that Alice here, she likes nipping a little on the recipe. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I never tried that. I, the, the brandy is not for me. No. I make that home stuff. Everything yeah. else is for you, though, yeah. Dandelion and choke cherry and yeah. You know, same as that Bert Canal and La Latimer, Lil Latimer and Alice, they flew to the National Bowling Tournament. Oh, I think oh, somewhere, yeah. And they was tipping a few, you know. Yeah, got a little hot and crazy there. Yeah, the whole front of the plane cleared out, you know. <laughs> That's a pretty good party then. Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, I think they must have forgotten to bake bread, though, for sandwiches. Yeah, because all they, all they had to share was an apple. Yeah. I thought when you floated up front that you had first class, you got more to eat. Yeah. They shared an apple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot to take the, they got to remember next time to take lunch along, you know. They got to take some lunch along. Yeah, you never know where those potlucks are. That's her yeah. bowling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she'll feel like flying to the bowling tournament, you know. And then you share this apple with Lil and Bert. Yeah. And then you share this apple with Lil and Bert. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with your pile? You also need your name to go see Dr. Yarwood? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good pilot, man. Oh, yeah? I always go to that man for my balls. Really? He's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, I saw him, you know, we got a, we got a friend, you know, she, she goes with us sometimes. Her name is Bert the Butts. She was, I saw her when we walked in here. Where's Bert? You don't know, she may be cleared off when we cleared in. Trust <laughs> <laughs> your prescriptions there, Mark. Let's find her. Bertha! Bertha, where are you? There she is! There she is! She's trying to hide! Hi, Bertha! Hi, Bertha! There's Bertha! Hi, Bertha! Hi, Bertha! Bertha has a lot of gas. I hope she got over there. Hi. Bertha, do you got gas tonight? I do. I do. I do. Oh, she looks okay. Yeah, she's kind of red. She's kind of shocked. Yeah, she's got a lot of color, so I don't think she's got... She's just got a lot of color tonight, so I don't think she has any. <laughs> Say, you know, I heard that Aunt Ella sure can get after her kids when they were little. Did you get after your kids, Alice? No. I heard you did. I heard you took a yardstick after your twins. <laughs> and you broke it? You broke the yardstick. Chasing your twins. I, I, did you hit them really hard? You must have hit them. I don't know about her. What's we going to do with her? Well, you know, then the other one laughed. You know, because she broke the yardstick, so she couldn't get her whip, and only one got it. Yeah. Boy, I don't know. You know, well, instead of a yardstick, you know, we decided to give you two foot sticks. <laughs> then you can, then you can use one for each one. Yeah, I heard, Alice, that in 1982 at Thanksgiving, the whole family was together. Out in Rhonda, 
round up Montana, you know, across the river there. That river, that one over there. That river. That was that one over there. Anyway, that was together. And this was the first time that Otto, he was going to see the whole family together. You know. And so, Ella, she wanted everybody to behave themselves, she said. You kids behave yourself now. So they all sat down and they were going to eat, and Vicky threw the potatoes. Vicky. Shame on you. Boy, Otto's eyes was big. He thought, my God, is that how this family passes the food around here? I just better get and watch it here. So we got you a good one, Otto. You throw it back at her. <laughs> Next time she gets frisky with the potatoes, you just let her back. <laughs> no, that Alice, yeah. We, we're back to that bowling thing again, huh? We heard you like to bowl, yeah. Well, we don't know what you put in your bowl, but... We brought her. Uh, yeah. I always like to put bush soup in my bowl. Yeah, nothing like good bush soup. I like I like to make tater salad in mine. <laughs> I think that tater salad's pretty good, you know that? That goes pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like some crown on this side. And you eat your light the way it is supposed to be. <laughs> She's going again with Lil and Denise to a bowling tournament. This time they drove, you know. And they went to the store, and you know what she did? She left on her bowling shoes. Boy, she must really like to wear those shoes. We finally found a pair of bowling shoes for you. Just another pair. <laughs> These are a little dressier, though. Then you don't feel so bad, you know. Oh, God, that is... Oh, God. Ay, ay, yeah. Couldn't have asked for a prettier color in a better time. Why can she dance tonight? There has been all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. Her apple, too. She can carry apples around there. <laughs> yeah, I heard that that Alice likes to play bingo. I got you some lucky bingo cards. You should win with these. These are really good. You know, I won two good laying hands last week with them. <laughs> you know, so... The yeah, they're much lucky. These are the two that I want them laying hands with. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You're going to give them up. Yeah, huh? I figured Alice might need a couple of hens, too, you know. <laughs> then she could sell the eggs, you know, and get some egg money. You know. Bingo! <laughs> Money too. Oh, yeah? Remember, you have a little extra from your cream check this week. Oh, yeah. She yeah. Went, she's, she's going gambling. Okay, you put this down for, for me. If you, when I'll go half and half with you, you know. That's, mm -hmm. That's for the buckboard races. Oh, my God. Don't you go out to them sometimes, Martha. Oh, yeah. 
You're too busy drinking all the time. <laughs> you, 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 you start, you know, and then, then we'll go half with what you win. Okay. Okay? Remember, Doc, you're the lucky one. Tell him, tell him, you're a cherished woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That must have been a good cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, Ellis, I heard that we got a lot to wish at the house, you and I. You know, you was half in trouble with some gas one night. <laughs> and she fell off of the toilet and passed out. <laughs> I tell you, her husband, she passed out from all that gas. <laughs> Bertha, you better talk to her. <laughs> you know, Bertha has gas, too. She's always got piles, but she's got gas, too. <laughs> you know, and Alice's husband, he come in there and he said, Alice, are you all right? Alice said, yeah, I think so. So he went right back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tell you, yeah, you know. Really worried about her. Yeah, he was really worried about her, I tell you. You know, you just got to go see that Dr. Arla. I'll talk to him about my gas and my piles. And if my valves don't move, he fixes that too. Yeah. But I got the box here. Where's my box of gas and stuff? Right over there, tell me. Their subscriptions getting too bad. There, you can just mix that up with a little bit of, of Martha's recipe here, and that'll help a lot. Bertha, she uses that all the time. So do Bertha. Well, I don't think you should do any more flying with the airplanes. Now, she was going to Washington or to D.C. one time, yeah. And the Dollar Airport. Not Dallas like what, like what was on her ticket. <laughs> also, another time, she was talking to a lady in Minneapolis and gave her ticket to the lady to look at. Well, we think if you wanted to do any more flying, you should use one of these here. But she forgot to take her ticket back again. So we gave you wings now. <laughs> Just watch it there, Tom. You know, Alice, she's such a snappy dresser. Yeah, she likes all the bright colors and stuff, you know. Yeah, she's got a pretty nice outfit on. She looks down there as good as us. I bet you she stops, shops at that SEC store, too. Senior Citizen Center, yeah. They have good sales, huh? Yeah, yeah. We was just down there here the other day. And we got a nice snappy outfit for you. Where is it, girls? Yeah. That there one you can wear in the winter time yet. That's pretty darn nice. Now leave the tag on, because then people can tell that you paid a lot of money for it. Where's the other stuff to stop? Get them earrings out in that pretty neck. Oh, that match is so good. Yeah, she looks pretty nice. And then we got another one for her. That's because it's still warm outside. You can wear this one in the summer a little bit. Yeah. Boy, that's pretty snappy head. <laughs> Boy, a person could fix some good fence wearing that head. <laughs> and you can and you can put in the stables and the hammer right in this bag. <laughs> Boy, that's snappy. Boy, and here's a nice pair of shoes to go with that. <laughs> It matches with this here dress. Boy, that's pretty little. Oh, there's no pair of bloomers now. Oh, one of the girls is going to be yellow-headed tonight. That's a pretty nice one. Boy, that's pretty little, too. It's got to be pretty warm outside when you wear that one now. 
Oh. Oh. That's just too bad we didn't get that outfit to her earlier. She could have worn that tonight. Yeah, she could look just as nice as us. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Alice, that you got a, a special birthday tonight, we got you something. We got you a diamond pin. We was all out today. Yeah. the cream check. Yeah. <laughs> we spent our money. We spent our money. We couldn't ask for a better pin. A diamond pin. A diamond pin. You make it up there. Oh. <laughs> it's more than skilly gold. Well, first they had the fight, then she's trying to marry a lot, huh? Yeah. Them daughters. Yeah, yeah, when they was of that age, you know. She knew how to get a good man, though. <coughs> On Saturdays, when the boys would come around to date the daughters, Alice would be baking bread and rolls and caramel rolls. Hey, we should have sent our kids there. <laughs> they forgot all about going to the movies. They wanted to stay and eat fresh baked stuff. I always said a good man knows a good woman by her bread. That's Right? That's for sure. Well, we got some for her, then she don't have to bake now, huh? She doesn't have to do that hard stuff. Yeah, just bake it. We don't need easy ones. Yeah. She can pop these. I suppose she's got some grandchildren. Just take them and put them in the pan and let them raise a little, and then you just put them in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard Alice, she's a traveler, too. Really? Yeah, she went further than across the river. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went to Florida. Florida. Yeah, that was across the Coral Rivers that way. Yeah. That was down south. Yeah. 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 It was down south. Yeah, I'll tell them. Anyway, she went on this water ride. It was at Bush Garden. Really? Yeah, there was lots of bush there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she had light pants with a blouse on. She was all dressed up, you know. And she had her earrings in. And and she had lots of, yeah, her thing earrings, yeah. And then she had lots of hairspray on, you know, she wanted to stay nice for the ride. Well, the lady told her, you get right in the middle there, then you won't get wet. Well, here they take off, and Alice just got real wet. Just so wet, the hairspray started running, and the back of her earrings just stuck to her neck. <laughs> and she lost her earrings. I tell you. <laughs> Where's that hat we got you? If you ever get down there, you gotta wear this hat and you, then you won't lose your earrings and your hair will stay in place. <laughs> you just put them flowers down. We're gonna take this one. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that's a spiffy hat, I tell you. And then if the water comes, you got that good bell on there that'll just hold it off. Boy, that's schnappy. Keep the girls at the glasses. Say, Alice, I heard that one year for your birthday you wanted a stereo? Did you get it? No. I it didn't do you much good to worry about it then, huh? Well, then Denise invited you to her house. Because she had a birthday present for you. Yeah. And Alice got to the house and Denise wouldn't let her in. She invites her and then she wouldn't let her in. Because she didn't have she didn't have the present wrapped. Oh, that's what it was. Do you know what the present was? What? It was Becky. Oh. <laughs> she put Becky in this big box and wrapped her up and everything. And then when they let Alice in, then Alice wouldn't open the present. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vicky's suffocating in the box. <laughs> 
So, yeah, that's her. The one that's red. <laughs> She's embarrassed. Now, so Vicky, we got you a box with some air holes in it. a new show on TV called The Internet. Really? Yeah, yeah. Alice, Elle, she thinks it's evil. Really? Yeah, she says that's an evil show. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. But then all four of her daughters got it, so she's just kind of changed her mind on it a little bit now. But I myself, I like Lawrence Well. Yeah. You know, there's nothing like Lawrence Well on Saturday night, I'll yeah. tell you. That and the little gun smoke, and then it's time for bed. Yeah. yeah. That's always been my favorite. Yeah, I don't like to watch that internet. Yeah. Well, we don't want to watch it if Alice don't like it. I mean, because Alice knows, you know, what, what things are good and what things aren't. You know. We heard too that the family reunion, some of your kids were curious as what you and Ada was doing at bedtime, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They even snuck into the room on hands and knees. I well, Alice, next reunion you wear this, and then they will for sure get their eyes full. Put this on over your robe. Don't get slumbered. This hair is really getting dressed. We heard too that she used to live at Columbus. I didn't know she knew that man. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, yeah, she used to live there. Isn't that your buddy? No. Didn't he farm next to you? In that farm no, over there? He no, 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 no. That was that other guy. Oh. No. You got them mixed up. They looked, they looked almost a lot, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we got the reminder of that Columbus. Yeah, just even have comments <laughs> in the boat. <laughs> Reminds her of Columbus, yeah. Yeah, Alice, you know, I was visiting just a little while ago with, with Reuben and Ruth Elwine. They was telling me that one night you had them over for a visit <coughs> at your house. And you was taking a few sips off the recipe. <laughs> but Alice, you know, she likes that brandy, so she was sipping on the brandy. And I think she sipped a little bit too much. <laughs> Either that or she was fixing things that day and was real tired, because all of a sudden she was gone. And they looked and looked, and here she was, sound asleep between the closet and the bed, <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> what? On the floor. That's pretty hard. That's pretty hard to sleep there, Alice. Sleep in the bed, not on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Well, we brought you some pillows tonight. That way, if you get tired, you can put your head on that. You know, but Anna, you might want to watch her since she don't get out in the parking lot and lay down. It could get a little dangerous out there. Yeah, you got to be careful there. Martha, maybe you could just mix up a little bit of that recipe for, for Alice. Okay. I'd have to go down there, though. Go down there. Go down there on the table. You need some help in there. No, I can get down. The front of hold on. Okay. Get it out. Oh, I will. You got to start with a good chart. You got to start with a good chart. Okay. Which one you got tonight? Was that a pickle chart? Oh, she's buying some of that expensive cheese. Yeah. I, 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 I got that at the art drift store, Joe. Oh, she just got the chart at the art drift store. Oh. That is that, oh, that big drink. You know. Okay. This is the first birthday drink. It'll keep things smooth and boy. What you got there, Martin? A little bit of prune juice. Yeah, that's a good color. And it really moves things. Yeah. 
When you're 75 years old, you need a little bit of moving. Yeah. You got to have the little good stuff. Yeah, you got to have Not that brandy. What? Brandy don't taste right. <laughs> you got to have a little flavoring. Say, Martha, I think you've had enough of that. Put that boy. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I think that's enough. Tell me you've got to try it home. And you've got to add a little bit of cotton oil. Oh, yeah, you need a little bit of cotton oil. Yeah, oil. yeah that makes it slide real, real smooth. <laughs> real smooth, though. Yeah, real smooth. That should be about enough. Well, oh, that's pretty good stuff. Give a little more. <laughs> yeah. Now, when that what you got there? A little castor oil. Yeah. 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 What's that one? A little flavor? Yeah, yeah a little flavor. Yeah. Never got a good cake of pepper. Oh, that kid, picnic. That's not oh. yeah. I like that for color. That's a good color. Yeah. And then if things get going too fast, they can slow it down a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. More of a quick That tastes good. Now what you got? Some more of that. Now you got the white stuff in there. Yeah, sure. Stops now. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that one. That'll coat everything. That'll make her stomach feel real good. And then a little milk of magnesium. Bertha, she uses that for her gas now. Yeah, that works good, doesn't it? She's not used to the whisk. She likes the brandy. Oh, she likes the brandy. Okay. You got to stir it up a little bit. Oh boy, take it easy with that. That's a little while. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good color. No, not quite. Not, not quite. quite? Need a little bit more. Oh, oh, Martha, that's about enough color in there. I think it's pretty smooth already. Oh, that looks just perfect. Just perfect. And you take that you can that. share that with all your friends yeah. too, though. <laughs> Let everybody drink that, some of that tonight. A shot of that you share that. Yeah. Yeah. Shot of that yeah. yeah. You can share that with them that tonight, boy. Awesome. That'll get things moving. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's Martha's special recipe. That's very good. That's good for your bowels, too. <laughs> you know. You can take that along if you go on the trip. That would clear out everybody. Yeah. In the whole state. Ella, she likes to take her teeth out now and then. It scares the kids. Yeah, yeah. I think she ought to leave them in her head. We got the extra pair here. Harold, he said he ain't going to use his teeth anymore. You may as well have it. He just gums his stuff anyway. Yeah, he don't use them teeth that much. No, no. Oh, I heard she was the Avon lady. She was selling some stuff. Yeah, she was selling the, the makeup, you know. Yeah. Yeah. She was the ding dong lady. Yeah, yeah. Now she's done with that. So she just talks. <laughs> she's just a talk lady now. Yeah. Do we got a dong for her? There. You can just dong that. That's it. Yeah. Well, girls, what do you say? I think that the food is gonna, you know, might get away. So let's get over there and get a little bit of lunch before everybody else gets in line. Yeah. I gotta take some home, you know, tomorrow's Sunday, and I don't like to cook much. So let's take a little extra. I gotta get over there and get some before Bertha has it, and then I see Carol Kessler's back there. He likes to eat too, so gotta beat him, you know. <laughs> Well, I hope you have a happy birthday there, Alan. Have a happy birthday. You got enough stuff there. That's yeah. what you want from Keep you busy. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they?
Wade, right? Yeah. Thanks, Wade. A big thank you to all of you who came tonight to celebrate this occasion with us. We're honored with many special friends that traveled a long way to be here tonight. You've all helped make this birthday a very special one for Mom. Thanks. Uh, we're going to clear off the tables and move them and uh, get ready for the band. Or the DJ, I should say. Oh, oh, oh. 